a girl joy give a tv it's been a while you know mm. sometimes life can show you off balance and you don't decide to take a time out for yourself but hey guess what yeah. okay so on today's series i'm gonna be taking us through something i came across some while ago yeah have you heard of maggot therapy let me take a while girls no okay we all know maggot to be that irritating stuff that come out from sports things and injuries right yeah let me take that guess for you so today <laughs> i'm gonna take you guys through something you don't know now maggots are useful I'm not. <laughs> maggots are actually useful. Now there is something called maggot therapy. It's called sometimes also called lava therapy. I'm just break it down for you to the minimum extent I know that I can. Now it involves the use of maggots, the introduction of life maggots. This maggot will be live, but they will be disinfected. So you introduce this maggot into wounds that have refused to heal for over some time. Sometimes people use this for all these ulcers. So this uh, maggot, they feed on necrotic tissues. So what do they do? They release their proteolytic enzymes. Now these enzymes help them to digest these tissues. Do you get a point? Now, the kind of maggots used for this kind of um, therapy are the green bottle. Maybe one. <laughs> is, it, is it that the maggot will be green or something? No! There are different classes and species of all these things, okay? Just that we don't know it. Maggot is maggot to us. I'll be evil to me, oh. Maggot is maggot, right? Yeah, so it's a green maggot that is used. So let me call the um, botanical name. I'm not gonna laugh now. Lucilia Sericata. It shocked you, Abby. <laughs> it shocked me to forget all these big, big names. You understand? Just so, all I want to do is to make you guys understand that the maggot has its own useful part. It's used to treat wounds, okay? That's the most important message I'm trying to pass. And guess what? From studies, it has also been discovered that maggot inhibits a wide range of bacteria. Yeah! You've heard of this popular MRSA, right? Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. You've heard of it before, right? I hope so. Now, the good news is this maggot inhibits this group of bacteria. So the thing is, they are not resistant to some like Pseudomonas aeruginosa and E. coli or proteus. If it's present in your wound before this maggot therapy, this um, bacteria in your wound will kill the maggots. So the maggots won't be able to carry out their functions. So all I want you to know today is I don't want to go deep in I don't want to speak long English. Yeah, I don't want to use medical terms. Let me just go straight to the point. Maggot is used to treat wound. Yeah, but there's some basic limitations like if you imagine. Maggot to save my wound. Oh my god. If it's me, I will not agree with you. Mm. So the irritating part of it actually it's one of the basic limitations. So people don't like maggots in their wound. So before you use maggot for your wound, you make sure the wound, the wound is still moist. Like this maggot thrives in a moist environment. It shouldn't be dry wound. If the wound is not moist, you make it a little bit moist and you introduce the maggots. After introduction, please make sure you remove all the maggots before. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah. So these are just the basic things you need to know. So thank you once again for listening. I have more things coming your way. I am back. Back for good. So thank you. Have a nice, beautiful day. So thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like and share this video. We learn every day. Don't forget the subject. Maggot therapy. Bye.